Today we're looking at creating a shatter effect for text, uh, for your intros, or anything else you want to shatter for whatever reason. Um, that's up to you. Um, for today we're going to do for t uh, shattering text, um, which is a popular thing to put in intros. Um, it just looks really good. And it's very, very easy to do. So I'll show you quickly. Uh, you want to click on MoGraph and create text object. Uh, which is just a faster way to create a uh, 3D text than having to go through text and then extrude and all that. Um, so yeah, I'll just you can change the change all the settings here if you want. You can put a depth to whatever you want. I'll just fix 50 a bit thicker. Uh, change that to my online online thing. I'm typing with one hand at the moment, so don't hate on the slow typing and the grunting and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, now that we've got that text object, all we need to do now is click on MoGraph. Uh, go ahead and click on PolyFX, couldn't find it there. PolyFX, it's just here. Uh, so now you want to make that a child of... <laughs> it's weird, but anyway. Uh, you want to make that a child of the text object by just dragging and dropping it until you see the little arrow pointing down the way. Um, so yeah, there you go. Now it's attached to the text object. As you can see, nothing's happening yet, and you'll be wondering why. It's just because it hasn't got an effector. Because um, you need an effector to affect the effects. Um, yeah. So, a random effector, which is down the bottom here. Um, which is on the MoGraph drop-down menu again. So, click on random effector. And there you go. Um, what we want is for when you move the slider along, it shatters it and then unshatters it as it moves past, um, which is looks great. I'll just render that quickly, see what it looks like. It looks quite cool. Um, but that's not what we want right now. We want it to shatter and then unshatter. And all you need to do is go into the random effector uh, tab here, and then go down to uh, effector. No. Wait. There you go. Uh, fall off right to the end. Um, you can tell I'm a complete noob at this. I'm new to this. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, go and just change it to anything you want. So cylinder, linear, cone, anything. I find sphere works quite well because you can move it in pretty much any direction and get a really unique effect and do what you want with it. So there you go. As you can see, it's shattering the non-shattering, which is a cool, cool thing. Render that again. It looks quite good. Uh, obviously, you'd add all the uh, what are they called shaders and materials, and you can do all that sort of stuff. Um, to animate this now, so it moves on its own. Uh, you want to just put it to the side where it's not affecting it, so there, and make sure that this timeline is right at the start and click keyframe, just a little key icon, move it to the end, um, move this across so it doesn't, it's not affecting it again and click keyframe again, uh, and there you go, just click play and then it will move it across. Uh, so yeah, that's it, have fun with it, change all these settings, there's so much stuff you can do, um, so yeah, have fun with it, and cheers, see you later.